So I just want to thank everyone for coming tonight because if we look on the news and Facebook, it's pretty scary out there and it just looks like it's just taking over our country and our state and it doesn't have to. There's hope out there and there is a chance for a new life and it doesn't have to kill all of us. So my name is Melissa and I grew up in a single parent home. My mom was on welfare from her childhood and it carried throughout mine. My father was an alcoholic and he left us when my brothers and I were very young. Mom struggled with her own demons including depression, anxiety, and addiction. In high school, I began looking for love in all the wrong places. My grades dropped and I wasn't able to graduate on time. I dropped out and I went to Job Corps. I was there for five months. I received my GED and met a man who impregnated me with my first child at 17 years old. He was in recovery for heroin addiction, but I had no idea what that meant. Later on in our relationship, he began using, and once I found out, I made him leave. Little did I know, my own journey with, with addiction was about to begin. I very quickly went into another, another relationship. I began abusing anxiety medication and painkillers. I became pregnant with twin daughters, and they were born addicted to opiates. Soon, my then boyfriend got sick and tired of my using, and he left. Very soon after that, I started another relationship. This one was more addicting than any drug I had encountered. It was also a domestic violence situation, and my brain was literally rewired. I thought, if I can get this man this crazy, he must love me. It was sick and twisted. It was not love. After three years, another baby, losing my three other children, seven incarcerations, and three attempted suicides, I finally hit rock bottom. I went to New Life Home for Women and Children in Manchester, New Hampshire, where I received just that, a new life. I learned about God and his delivering power. That was seven years ago. Recently, I experienced a setback. I was feeling overwhelmed with life, and the itch to use was intense. With a lot of hesitation, I tried and fell in love with heroin. I was on it for four months, and I tried to stop many times, putting myself into precipitated withdrawal and blowing through all of my savings I had worked so hard to maintain. On March 12th this year, my life changed. That was the last day I used. The next morning was the hardest moment I have yet to endure. My mom unexpectedly passed away. You see, on that day, my mom literally laid down her life for me. She knew about my struggles, my addictions, and my many attempts to quit. And yet, she was still my biggest fan and would encourage me to try again tomorrow. Little did she know that her passing would be what I needed to jump out of the hell I was living in. The pain of losing her was way more intense than any withdrawal symptom I faced. By God's grace and love, I was able to stop cold turkey. I have not picked up since. Today, I have a great support system. I know I have to reach out and stay connected. I am accountable to those around me, and I look to God for my strength and help. I am living proof that there is hope to overcome any addiction that most people have.